Hello! Hello. Happy, Happy Sibling Shanty, Shanty Sunday. Sunday! I'm Scott. I'm Sagan. And we're siblings. And, and we, we sing Sea Shanties and Sea Shanty Adjacent music. music. And it's week 18. Week 18. And there's apparently a motorcycle convention going on outside of our apartment. Or just, or just one guy. Very insecure. Either way. Either way. Uh, but we've got more shanties for you. But we these do. these are unique. They are a river shanties. Yes. Uh, songs from, uh, songs from the, the river. I had something much the more Hawkeye impressive. Man. <laughs> from the Hog Eye Man. Although we're not doing the Hog Eye no, Man yeah. as today's shanty. No. That's one of them. Yeah. It's not Because it wasn't a, because it wasn't a river shanty. No. They were making fun of. Yes. The yeah. yeah. Although it might have been used on the river. I don't know. Anyway. I probably would have swapped it. Uh, so our first shanty of the day is called Lindy Low. This one is a uh, it's a hand over hand shanty uh, that dates back to the mid 1800s. Um, the origin has been uh, somewhat disputed. The the sort of the most prevailing theory is that it actually hails from Barbados, uh, sure. even though the lyrics are primarily uh, river focused and actually talk about. Um, uh, the Mississippi and the Ohio rivers. But, uh, so this one is, um, not exactly, it's sort of call and response, I guess. Shanty yeah. Man has two lines and then the chorus is two lines that everybody sings right. along with. And so it, it goes almost back feels and forth. more like call and response. Yeah, it's a little yeah. bit more like call and response. Uh, but, a little bit deep for me. All right. Uh, uh, and the chorus goes like this. On the finest boat that ever float, on the Ohio, the Mississippi, and the Ohio. It is chill. Uh, I generally find a, a, a lot of um, a lot of the uh, the river shanties are are a bit more laid back because while they were used to coordinate the work, when you were on the river, you usually just let the river do a lot of the work for you. Just let the natural current do a lot of the work for you. Um, and the songs, the songs, uh, had both a, had both a work element to it when you were bringing it back up the river. Um, but also had a little bit more of the, um, the social singing mm. aspect of just, you know, if you're, you're Keeping on a, a barge floating down the river, right. you know, just... a little more monotonous that way. Although uh -huh. nice views probably. Yes. Very go, nice but, views. But, um, yeah. So, but that's about it for this one. Yeah. That's about it for this one. Ready? Are you ready? Let's find out. All right. Come smiling, Lindy Low. You're the prettiest girl I know. On the finest boat that ever float On the Ohio, the Mississippi and the Ohio Come smiling, Lindy Low To the Louisiana shore On the finest boat that ever float On the Ohio, the Mississippi and the Ohio Come smiling, Lindy Low, to the bayous deep and slow, on the finest boat that ever float, on the Ohio, the Mississippi and the Ohio. Come smiling, Lindy Low, down the Bay of Mexico. On the finest boat that ever flowed On the Ohio, the Mississippi and the Ohio Come smiling, Lindy Low For the Cape Horn winds they blow On the finest boat that ever flowed On the Ohio, the Mississippi and the Ohio Come smiling, Lindy Low, all the way to Old Frisco, on the finest boat that ever float, on the Ohio, the Mississippi and the Ohio.
Come smiling, Lindy Low, for the crew are way below on the finest boat that ever float on the Ohio, the Mississippi and the Ohio. Come smiling, Lindy Low. Get in that boat and row on the finest boat that ever float on the Ohio, the Mississippi and the Ohio. Come smiling, Lindy Low. You're the prettiest girl I know on the finest boat that ever float on the Ohio, the Mississippi and the Ohio. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Yeah, no, I like that one a lot. It's a good one. It is. Uh, so this next one, uh, this next one actually, especially if uh, especially if you're American, um, will probably be a, a fan very of folk music. a fan of folk music. Uh, will probably be very familiar. Um, not a lot of people know that it's a that it's a, a sea shanty. Um, this is a Shenandoah, um, because most of the most of the folk arrangements don't really play into sort of that call and response. But when you sort mm -hmm. of hear it in its own version, it's like, oh yes, obviously, sure, okay. Um, so this is a, a, a capstan shanty, um, originated in the early 1800s, uh, from Canadian and American fur traders, uh, who canoed the Missouri river, um, within this, uh, sort of this, this, this subculture of, of fur traders, um, music played a very important part. They would use it to, uh, much like sailors, they would use it to coordinate paddle strokes when they were, uh, going down the river in the canoe. And they would also use it. Um, they would use it, uh, to pass the time. Um, when they got into ports, they traded with, um, they, they traded with, uh, with immigrants, they traded with Native Americans, they traded with, uh, just about anybody, um, who was interested. Uh, but they would use it when they were in, in port, as it were, um, as, as a way of, uh, as a way of entertaining. Um, music was just, uh, was just very important to them. Um, and this song itself, uh, Shenandoah, uh, has undergone countless countless uh mutations and regional variations um the the sort of the originally agreed upon, uh, generally agreed upon um sort of original version is that uh tells the story of a fur trader uh, who fell in love with the uh the daughter of Oneida chief Shenandoah um and that uh, uh he's from uh he was from this region Actually, up right, here in the, the, the uh, yeah, yeah, the upstate, and the United uh, Nation is um, not just here in in upstate New uh -huh. York, but also spread um, further west of their own accord, but also not of their own accord, as um, uh, English settlers and and um, others sort of force them out of their native homelands uh -huh. that way. Um, but yeah, so that's the sort of the original, correct. Mostly agreed upon storyline that way, mm -hmm. um, but had lots of different versions depending on where you're from and what you were doing, and you know what kind of uh, story of lost love or uh -huh. story of a journey far away or whatever that you were sort of trying yeah. to tell at that point in time. Yeah. Yep. So this one is uh, is call and response. Um, so hit a C for me here. Uh, so Shannon has the first line, has the first line, uh, and then the, the, the aspect ratio on this thing is like a little small here. Uh, so Shannon has one line, and the first response is, Away you roll in a river. Uh, Shanty Man has a second line, uh, and then the second response is, Away I'm bound to go. Cross the wide Missouri, or Missouri, as it's uh, if you're going for a more sort of archaic pronunciation. Yes, but yeah, and that's about all there is to this one. Yep. Ready? Are you ready? I think so. All right. Oh, Shenandoah, I long to see ya. Away you roll in the river. Oh, Shenandoah. 
Shenandoah, I long to hear ya. Away, I'm bound to go. Cross the wide Missouri. Oh, Shenandoah, I took a notion. Away, you rolling river, to sail across that stormy ocean. Away, I'm bound to go, cross the wide Missouri, or oh, Shenandoah. I'm bound to leave ya away, you rolling river. But Shenandoah, I'll not deceive ya away. I'm bound to go cross the wide Missouri. Shenandoah, I love your daughter. Away, you rolling river. I love the music of your waters. Away, I'm bound to go. Cross the wide Missouri. Seven long years since last I seen ya. Away, you rolling river. But Shenandoah, I'll never grieve ya. Away, I'm bound to go. Cross the wide Missouri. Yeah. yeah, it's so pretty. Yeah, no, that's been that's. I think that's one of my probably in the top ten favorite folk songs of all time. Yeah, really. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right. One Last more. one. One more. Uh, so this one is so interestingly. Um, this one is uh, sort of modern, I guess. Sure. Um, so it's called Shawnee Town, also sometimes called a Hard on the Beach or. Um, and it was, uh, written actually, um, it was sort of born from a, a song fragment, uh, that dates back to the early 1800s. Um, uh, but that was sort of given life by, uh, American folklorist, singer, songwriter, and playwright Dylan Buston, uh, using, um, uh, using the original song fragment, uh, and then using like travel logs and novels of the, uh, of the air to sort of fill in the details of this, um. So Shawnee Town uh, is located in Southern Illinois, um, uh, just beyond where the Ohio River meets the Wabash. Um, and uh, before 1830, it was a major trade center for uh, settlers and Native Americans. Um, uh, nearby salt mines were actually the, the town's uh, primary export. Um, and so this, uh, this is a, a song that theoretically would have been sung on uh, keelboats. Um, now, keel boats were the most efficient commercial boats uh, in those days. There were other boats that were cheaper, interestingly, um, for like the timber trade specifically, where they would literally take like logs and just thrash them together mm -hmm. and ride them down. Mm -hmm. And then when they got there, they would undo it and sell the logs mm -hmm. as well as anything that they carried on top of it. Um, keel boats were, uh, were hardier, were built to last, um, but that also meant that instead of just walking back up, the trail to where you started, you had to paddle uh, back up. Well, you uh, you would have to essentially drag the sure. uh, uh, drag the um, the boat back, which is uh, uh, what's called bushwhacking uh, in this context, at least. Um, uh, just grueling, grueling work. Um, however, the float down river was often fairly easy, uh, and the beach oar that's uh, talked about in the uh, uh, in the chorus. It will be a long oar, um, 
used to used to guide the tra uh, guide the craft um, either either through like uh, directing the water or literally like pushing yourself away from the different sides of the bank. I think of like um, gondoliers, mm -hmm. kind of in a yeah, yeah, yeah. Way. yeah, off of like mud slicks and that sort of thing. Uh, so this one has a chorus that everybody sings along with. Mm -hmm. uh, and the chorus goes like this. And it's hard on the beach, or she moves too slow. Way down to Shawnee Town on the Ohio. Yeah, so it's a nice, easy, pleasant. I think uh, I think heard this one from Press Gang Mutiny. Mm -hmm. That's where uh, that's where yeah, we heard it first. Yeah, great crew out of Toronto area. Mm -hmm. Yep, they're awesome. Yeah, and that's and that's that's literally all there is to uh, to this song. Ready? Are you ready? <laughs> well, some rose up, but we float down, way down the Ohio to Shawnee Town, and it's hard on the beach, or she moves too slow, way down to Shawnee Town on the Ohio. Whiskey's in the jug, boys, and the weed is in the sack. We'll train them down to Shawnee Town and we'll bushwhack her back. And it's hard on the beach, or she moves to the snow. Way down to Shawnee Town on the Ohio. Now the current's got her boys and we'll pick up some slack. Float her down to Shawnee Town and we'll bushwhack her back. And it's hard on the beach, or she moves to the snow. Way down to Shawnee Town on the Ohio. Well, I got a girl in Louisville and another in New Orleans. And when I get to Shawnee Town, I'm gonna see my Shawnee Queen. And it's hard on the beach, or she moves too slow. Way down to Shawnee Town on the Ohio. The water's mighty warm, boys, but the air is cold and dank. And the cursed fog it gets so thick that you cannot see the bank. And it's hard on the beach, or she moves too slow. Way down to Shawnee Town on the Ohio. Well, some rose up, but we floats down. Way down the Ohio to Shawnee Town. And it's hard on the beach, or she moves too slow. Way down to Shawnee Town on the Ohio. And it's hard on the beach, or she moves too slow. Way down to Shawnee Town on the Ohio. Yeah! I like that one. Yeah. Oh, that one's fun too. Just nice. Again, sort of chill. You uh -huh, can imagine yes. floating yeah, yeah, down yeah. the river that way. Uh huh. Yeah. Neat. Well, there you go. There's some yeah. river shanties for you because, you know, work happened there too. Yep. Work Ocean, Ocean sailors. Ocean sailors. <laughs> Ocean uh, sailors. <laughs> uh yeah um so links down below for uh shanty merch and um cool educational links and things like that mm -hmm. and uh other things um so we talked about press gang mutiny here um last week uh and, and this week, week as a matter of fact um <laughs> as well so the link is there about um there they do a um shanty show um, where they talk to different uh, shanty crews and sing together and that kind of thing. Their most recent um, guests were Kimber's Men, another one of our favorites um, out of the UK. Uh, and um, shout out to our friends in Duck Pond Sailors. Um, so Chris Storian uh, <laughs> just uh, published another book um, about uh, the history of smugglers and all sorts of fun things mm. uh, in their area there. So there's a link to, you can um, go to the... Um, the Friends of the South Downs um, uh, website and order the book there and they'll ship it anywhere in the world. Um, but it looks like a lot of fun. Uh, and then the other thing that I couldn't remember last week that I did remember and did link um, is that uh, there is a Kickstarter going on right now um, for a maritime uh, website, uh, directory website. So right now, if you're trying to find music, if you're trying to find mm -hmm. festivals, if you're trying to find um, just groups in your area, or maybe you're traveling and you want to go check out a group, 
there's really not. Yeah, there's not uh, one consistent site. There, yeah. like you can go looking and yes. you can find stuff. Yes, but it's all uh, none of it is none of it is centralized. Yeah, and so um, this particular group of folks are trying to um, get this website uh, together so that it would be sort of one stop shopping for um, maritime music, um, whether it's festivals or artists or um, CD releases or uh, rehearsals or shanty sings in your area, or, you know, just all sorts of different things. Um, you know, uh, lyrics and recordings and all those kinds of things. So, um, the, that Kickstarter is going on for basically like for another week here. Um, and you can donate at whatever level you're comfortable at. Um, and there are some rewards and things like that, but, um, should be a really great, uh, resource. It looks like that way we donated, um, so help get that Kickstarter uh, backed that way and um, should be a really awesome resource for those of us that are looking for one-stop shopping mm -hmm. for your maritime music. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it looks really cool. Um, I think that's it. That's all I got. Okay. Uh, be safe. We love you. And uh, we'll see you again next Sunday. Bye! Bye.